Well, let's go ahead. Let's get right into it. Tell me about, I'm, well, I'm not sure I understand the reason, what the implications of the bacteria would be for the soil, so please uh, yeah. enlighten us about that. Yeah. There, well, there are three different kinds of aerobic bacteria in seawater, but, but a couple of them are really important to us, and that's azobacter and nitrobacter. And both of them, especially nitrobacter, does a phenomenal job of fixing nitrogen, which is, of course, the N of NPK. Right. And four-fifths of what we breathe is nitrogen. So it gets fixed only a couple of different ways. Lightning can fix nitrogen, but most of it is fixed through aerobic bacteria. And when we, when we, when the seawater comes naturally with it, we, in our process, we go to great pains to make sure that those bacteria stay happy and healthy. And <laughs> what, what, kinds of, the soil, what kinds of things do you do to keep them happy and healthy? TV dinners, good music. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, but no, they're, they're, if you don't watch, you know, in the process that we have, if you do it in a different way, you can kill them. And, and so we take great pains not to do that. But they take a little while to get established in the soil. But, but by the third year, they're fixing about 40 pounds of nitrogen per acre per year. And uh, I'll give you a for instance. When we go head-to-head -head with the chemical companies in South Dakota and Nebraska, the ag schools are recommending that those farmers, to get 200 bushels of corn per acre, they're recommending that they put 280 pounds of nitrogen down per acre. Well, wow. the first year, we cut them down to 90 pounds, and some of them are off nitrogen altogether. Well, first of all, just to back up a second here, nitrogen is an incredibly volatile compound. It, it wants to evaporate into the air the instant you put it in the ground or, or leach into the groundwater. So out of that incredible amount of nitrogen you put on the field, if there's 10 or 20 pounds available to the plant at the end of the day, you'll be very lucky. Whereas in our world, that 40 pounds of bacteria fixed nitrogen is highly available to the plant. And this is why we can do what we do and, and we can beat the yields of the chemical farmers. So again, there's that theme between we're just going to add it in, we're just going to put something back in kind of with our bodies, the synthetic minerals, versus here is a way it can come naturally from the bacteria, which is so much more efficient and so much more readily available. Right, and, and utterly harmless to humans. And, you know, our product, we're required to have a material safety data sheet to ship it. We're not required. I'm sorry, we're not required. We, we do include it when we ship it, but we're not required because it's such a safe product. But, you know, it, it, you know I can literally take our extract and dive into the 10,000-gallon tank, you know, what? That's amazing. You can't do that. What, how would you compare that to the MSDS, the material safety data sheet of uh, nitrogen, of NPK? Well, you know, most um, uh, most nitrogen in commodity farming is comes in the form of anhydrous uh, ammonia, and it, it's it's literally it's a liquefied gas that gets slit. You know, they put they use knives and then they 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 inject it behind the it's 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 injected into the soil that is utterly deadly that kills farmers every year really yeah and these farmers were able to you talked about something in the order of 75 percent reduction of the nitrogen almost and almost or i should say in some cases complete reduction of something yeah. that's so harmful the anhydrous ammonia the npk etc yes it's, it's amazing. I mean, it's really, I mean, you must be happy to go to work every day. We love going to work every day. We go to work, <laughs> that's the problem. It's tough to, you know, we, we, we have a new rule. Well, not a completely new rule, but Sunday we're definitely resting. But, you know, we, we work 12 hours a day like it was an hour. It's, it's very, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Have these farms that you've been talking about, are they, are some of them completely off of their pesticides and herbicides? Absolutely. In fact, they are. this year was, was a lot of fun because, you know, they, they had a lot of uh, fungus up in, in South Dakota, again in Nebraska. And the people that were on our programs, it's, it's three applications. It cost $51 an acre. And this is on, on wheat. And our, our guys didn't have to use any fungicides. So, you know, they walk away with $51 an acre you know, they might have a four thousand. They might have four or five thousand acres in wheat, 
it's, it's a phenomenal expense, and it's dangerous to apply, and you don't have to use it. No, it's amazing. It's amazing. These companies that make these, these uh, the fungicides and the NPK, they're not going to like you very much. No. You're going to be seeing them out of business <laughs> pretty soon. 